Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about best five cloud computing careers for 2023, salaries included. Myself, Muhammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Well, cloud is a metaphor for the internet and cloud computing can be described as the process of storing, accessing and managing the data from the internet. Cloud computing has become very popular not only among the individuals but also among businesses and organizations. Every six businesses and companies are shifting towards the cloud and have started to use its services. For individuals, we can consider Google Drive, Apple iCloud and many other platforms that are offering the services and for the organizations and companies. We have giants like AWS, Azure, GCP, etc. Cloud not only offer the services, but it also help the businesses grow exponentially. And that is why the demand for the cloud is increasing day by day. As the demand is increasing, it also means that there is an increase in demand for the skilled personnel who possess the skills to work and perform duties on cloud platforms like Azure, AWS, GCP, etc. And these giants have started to increase the pay of their employees as well as keeping in mind the need and demand for cloud computing. Now let's talk about five such cloud computing careers that you can consider in 2023 to start with your cloud computing career. Number one, cloud database administrator. As everyone is shifting its data to the cloud databases, no matter if it's an individual or an organization. And cloud databases are also getting very popular and now they are known as database as services as well. As there is a huge increase in cloud data, it means there is a need of an administrator to work with ever increasing data as well. So here comes the cloud administrator. They are responsible for managing the cloud databases and more importantly, they play their roles by guiding the businesses to use new technologies like artificial intelligence, blockchain, internet of things, machine learning, and things like that to manage their data in a better way. And this job allows cloud administrator to work directly with people in high hierarchy like managers, business analysts, auditors, etc. And cloud database administrator find the most appropriate way for them to solve their data related problems. To become cloud database administrator, you need to have working knowledge of Azure, JSON, Linux, machine learning and artificial intelligence. And these are some of the basic requirements. As you have seen that this job requires you to have a lot of prerequisites, it means this is not a job for someone who has just started his cloud career. For all of these prerequisites, you can go for different certifications or you can have hand-on experience in these fields and you are good to go. Now let's talk about the salary perspective, which is the most important one. Well, as per the simply learned, cloud database administrator based in the United States can earn an average salary of $130,000 per year. And that was all about the first one. And now let's see what do we have next. On number two, we have cloud developers. Well, cloud developer is another highly paid and demanding job in 2023. As the name suggests, the cloud developers develop the cloud-based applications that can be used locally and globally. And in terms of job responsibilities, there is no much difference between a cloud developers and other developers. And by other developers, I mean mobile application developer, desktop application developer, web application developers, etc. The only main difference is cloud developers solely work on the development of the cloud-based applications and solution. And as we know, there are ever increasing threats to cloud platforms. That is why the cloud developer needs to make sure that the solution or the application he or she is developing is resistant to attack and cyber threats as well. At the end, there is one thing that I want to clear right here, and that is cloud developers and cloud engineers are two different job roles. I'll talk about the cloud engineers in details later in this video. Now, 
in terms of the requirements or certifications or in terms of skill that you might need to become cloud developers well there are several courses that you should follow if you have a degree in software engineering computer science or in technical field and you have some hands on experience of working on some cloud based applications you are good to go even if you do not have the degree you can go for some programming language courses or certifications and make sure you have all the knowledge about the sdlc and by sdlc i mean software development life cycle because it will play its part hugely in terms of becoming a cloud developer after that you just need to gain practical experience by working on cloud specific projects and you are good to go and at the end let's talk about the most important perspective and obviously i'm talking about the salary perspective well as per the course era you can earn up to $100000 if you have around 1 year of experience and you can earn up to $130000 based on your experience and that was all about this one and now let's see what do we have next then comes cloud specialist well a cloud specialist is a person that helps businesses and organizations to shift their services data information to the cloud cloud specialist is responsible for selecting appropriate and needed cloud services and vendors as per the company's and organization's needs as we have different types of cloud available for example public cloud private cloud hybrid cloud community cloud etc so depending on the sensitivity and severity of the company's data and its operation cloud specialist chooses the best option after choosing and migrating everything to the cloud the cloud specialist is also responsible for the optimization and protection of critical application and data storage cloud specialist is also believed to be responsible for managing the company's data and information across the cloud and multi cloud environments as well other than that a cloud specialist can also work for the cloud service provider as well for example he she can work for aws gcp or even for azure other than these renowned cloud services providers we have many other cloud services providers as well so in the case of working with the cloud services provider the job role will change a bit so as he or she will be supposed to maintain the cloud computing solutions troubleshooting and onboarding the new clients and to do that they need to become a cloud specialist and there are two ways that you can follow or they can follow either they can do certification or specialized courses or you can follow the other path that many cloud specialist follows i'll come to that later in terms of skills it is better to know about networking programming project management system security etc as these skills make it easier for people to opt for cloud specialist role you will find many cloud specialists who are experienced in their jobs and must have worked as either database administrator or system administrator and sometime project managers also opt for this field but it is not necessary that you should have experience and knowledge of these fields to become a cloud specialist a good certification and hunger for learning can make you a good cloud specialist in no time in the end if we talk about the salary range well as per the glass door ibm offers salary in between range of 110 to 190000 so that was all about the number 3 and now let's move on to the number 4 on number 4 we have cloud engineer well a cloud engineer is another highly paid job that is in demand in 2023 a cloud engineer is supposed to build and maintain the infrastructure for the cloud develop it and maintain the codes for the cloud solutions and develop and deploy the solutions for the client as well other than that a cloud engineer is responsible for accessing the organizations and companies current cloud functions services and infrastructure and based on that provides the services such as security maintenance and management of the cloud cloud engineer is also supposed to transfer the system to the cloud and other than that he is also responsible to transfer and maintain and secure them as well a cloud engineer is generally responsible for designing and developing solutions for organizations and companies to be a cloud engineer a certification can be done 
Still, to be a detailed and experienced cloud engineer, it is better to have at least a bachelor's degree in software engineering or computer science because having a degree will help you to design and understand the system in a better way. It will also help you to secure and maintain the system as well. Other than that, knowledge and experience in system architecture, troubleshooting and a certification in any of the cloud computing services providers, for example, AWS, Azure and GCP is a good thing. In terms of the salary, well, as per the glass door, companies like IBM, Cisco, Oracle, Amazon offer the salaries in the range of $140,000 to $220,000 per year. So how cool is that? And now let's move on to the last career for this video and that is Cyber Security Analyst. By the name, you might have an idea about the job responsibilities of a security analyst. Well, a security analyst is responsible for the security of the cloud environment and all of its policies and processes. For that purpose, they are supposed to use any means. They can use already available tools and technologies, or they can also develop their architecture and infrastructure to ensure the safety and security of the cloud environment. Just like for security in any field, the cloud security analyst is supposed to do a risk assessment and prevent failures and create and lay down a particular security procedure that can ensure the safety of the cloud environment. A cloud specialist also works with the IT and IT teams to review the organization's cloud network, server, and service architecture to better assess and protect it. And most importantly, cloud security analysts assist in performing IT audits, security reviews, change management, IT control, and other things related to the audit and security. Security analyst also gets assigned to the IT audit preparation other than these roles, cloud security analysts can also be assigned some other tasks until and unless they are related to the security of the cloud infrastructure and the company's data. In order to be a good cloud security analyst, it is better to have some experience working as a security expert in some other IT field or at least must have software testing skills as both things will increase the cognitive skills to understand the system and then design the solution for it in a better way. Other than that, there are specified certification and specialized certification that can be considered and can be done, but still having a bachelor's degree in any niche of computer science or software engineering will help exponentially in performing this job. And in terms of the core requirements, it is better to have basic knowledge of cloud services and their architectures and understanding of information security and a little bit of experience working on one of the cloud services provider platforms and you are good to go and you are good to become a cloud security analyst. Even if you do not possess any of these things, you can start from scratch as you can follow any online course and then you can move towards the certification and start your career. At the end, obviously, let's talk about the salary. Well, in terms of the salary, as per the course era, the salary of the cyber security analyst ranges from $60,000 to $170,000 per year, depending on the skills and experience. And that brings me to the end of this particular video. I hope now that now you have an idea that what are five different careers that you can consider for 2023 and what are their expected salaries. So I hope now that you must have learned and you must have liked watching this video. And if that is the case, do leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. And if you want to suggest me something and if you want to ask me something, please leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Till the next video, take care.